The surface area and volume of a square pyramid. A pyramid is named by its base. If the base is a square, it's a square pyramid. That's like the Egyptian pyramids. But the base could be a triangle, and it would be a triangular pyramid. It could be a hexagon, it'd be a hexagonal pyramid. It could be a pentagon, it'd be a pentagonal pyramid. Um, our pyramids are all right, meaning that the height is perpendicular to the floor, which is a square. And there's some certain vocabulary you need now. First, the height of the pyramid is the distance from the center of the square up to the top of the pyramid. This right here, the 20 in the picture, that's called the slant height. And this edge up here is called a lateral edge. So lateral edge, there are four of them. Now if we talk about the lateral area, it'd be the four triangles. Uh, and if I add the base in, that would be the total area, the total surface area. So we, we don't need any new formulas to find the surface area of the pyramid. We do need one for the volume. We'll get to that shortly. Let's first of all find the lateral, the total area of this pyramid. So I'm going to have four triangles. And now the first thing I need to do is uh, realize that this is 24 because the base is a square and the height is of that triangle is the 20 so the total area would be there are four triangles each triangle is one half its base times its height the base is 24 and the height is 20 plus we have the square. The square at the bottom is 24 times 24, base times height. So we'll punch all this into the calculator. So this first part multiplies to 960. 24 times 24 is 576. So the total area is 1,536, and that would be centimeters squared. Now we need a new formula. The volume. The volume of a pyramid is one-third of a prism with the same base and height. So in general, it's one-third times the area of the base times the height. The first thing we have to do then is find the height. Well, you see this 24 right here? Since this right here is supposed to be the middle of the square, then this length here would be 12. And then we need to use some Pythagorean theorem. So we can say that h squared plus 12 squared equals 20 squared. So I'm doing h, 12, and the 20. That's h squared plus 144 is 400. 400 minus 144 is 256. So the square root of each side gives us that h is 16. Now we have everything we need to find the volume. So we have one third, the area of the base of the pyramid is the square, it's 24 times 24, times the height, which we figured out was 16. Multiplying all that out, we find that the volume is 3,072, and our label, it's measured, volume is measured in cubes, would be centimeters cubed.
This example is very much like the last one. The difference is we're given the height. The height is eight from the center of the square at the bottom to the top of the pyramid. Looking at this 12, this length here, from here to here, is half a 12, it's six, since right there is the center of the square. And Pythagorean theorem, we know that uh, this is the slant height, that L squared would equal six squared plus eight squared. So L squared would be 36 plus 64, meaning that L squared is 100. Square root of both sides, L would be 10. So we know the slant height is 10. Now we can find the surface area and volume. Let's do the area first. The total area is four triangles. They're four triangular faces. Each triangle is one half its base. The base is from here to here, which was 12. Base edge is 12. One half its base times the height. Now the height of the surface, the height of the triangle, is that 10 right here. So four triangles, one half base times height, plus the square, and the square has sides of 12, so base times height is 12 times 12. So we'll punch all this in the calculator. First part multiplies to 240. The second part, 12 times 12 is 144. So that adds the 384, and our label here is inches, inches squared. The volume of the pyramid, again, is one-third area of the base, 12 times 12, times the height, the height of the pyramid, not the slant height. The height of the pyramid is right there, it's eight. So again, we punch all this in the calculator, and we get 384 inches cubed. In this problem, we're only going to find the surface area. If we find the volume, and we could do that, um, the, the numbers don't come out very nice. Uh, but this is, this is part of understanding how a pyramid works, so we're going to do the surface area in this, pro, in this question, which is, works out just fine. Uh, so if we look at a face, so I'm talking about one of these triangles. Remember the 17 is a lateral edge. Uh, the 15 is the slant height. It's the height of one of the triangles. And what we have is a right triangle, and it's kind of hard to see here, on the surface of the pyramid. So it's a right triangle that, that's edge goes right up the center. And this is uh, half of the base edge, uh, which we can just call X for now. Uh, but notice the slant height, the 15 is uh, one leg of the right triangle where the hypotenuse is on the surface. And the hypotenuse is the 17. So we can find x by using the, surf the triangle that's on the surface of the pyramid. And we'd say x squared plus 15 squared is the hypotenuse squared. And the hypotenuse is opposite that right angle. It's 17. It's the lateral edge. So we'll punch all this in the calculator. And we'll subtract 225 from both sides. And we get 64. So we know that x is 8. Which means this whole base edge is 2 of the x's. It's 16. So we have everything we need to find the total area. There are four triangles. Uh, each triangle is one half its base, which is 16. 
and times its height, which is the slant height, which again is right there, 15, plus the area of the square, and the square has sides of 16 and 16. So we'll punch this in the calculator. We get 480 plus 256, which ends up being 736, and this is area meters squared.